I'll be straight. Look at my face. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that me just looking at y'all for a bit, spoke enough words. I'm a Scorpio, so look, let's fucking talk. Fuck, dude. Let's fucking talk. I'm a Scorpio. I'm an emotional sponge as a result. When you're a Scorpio, you, you pick up on a lot of emotions that other people give off, and it's easier for you to read emotions from people who are around you than it is for most people. Being a Scorpio, being an emotional sponge, a lot of times I can tell what kind of energy you guys are putting out and the people around me are putting out and how to reciprocate, right? How to react to that fucking energy. How to react to that. I hate using that fucking word, bro. I hate the word energy. That shit is fucking played out. But because of the way that I am, I can tell when you guys want me to do something. And when I can't do it for you, I get upset with myself and I take it out of myself. And I know that I promised that there was going to be something that was happening on the 8th. It didn't get to happen on the 8th. I don't know if it was going to be music or whatever. But I had something planned, and it didn't fucking fall through. I can't tell you when this project's coming out, but I can tell you that it is coming out. I want to drop it in two parts. I'm not sure if I'm going to. There's a lot of things that I'm unsure about. But what matters the most, like above everything else, is that the only reason I still fucking do this shit is the best version of the music that I can for you. These benzos got me fucked up. I can't even read these comments. We love you. I love you too. You're overthinking? Everyone says you're overthinking. I'm so tired of hearing that I'm overthinking your shit. When... Overthinking isn't necessarily a bad thing. If I can overthink and get, you know, my mind ahead of the issues that are going on in my head right now, that's a good thing. Sometimes I like to overthink. Because if I overthink, I can be like, okay, what music am I going to make next? What music do they want to hear next? What, can I, what this, that, the third, the fourth, the fifth? I'm sorry that a lot of the shit I'm saying right now isn't fucking cohesive. But... I hope that a lot of you understand me. I miss being on tour. I miss a lot of you guys singing my fucking lyrics back to me and understanding how I feel. Cause I don't feel like that shit anymore. I feel like a lot of the times I'm making music now and I don't under, I feel like I'm not connected with y'all or I'm not tapped in with y'all and I don't fucking know like if the music I'm making, if I'm making it for me, if I like it, if I'm making it for you and I don't like it. When I was on tour, it was easy. Shit is different now. But. I'll be fine. I'm gonna take these last two benzos. Fuck, dude, this water was open. <sighs> what do you want to hear? Huh? Like, what do you want to see? What's something that you expect? And don't say we want to see you be safe. I'm safe all the fucking time. I don't leave my house. Ex-clone. 
Suck a dick. You don't need music, but you need you. That ass cool shit is really fucking annoying. Yo. I called with um, Denzel the other day. And he put me on to a lot. And I'm grateful I got to speak to him. Because I feel like right now where I'm at, I'm at a pivotal point in my life where the decisions that I make musically will be the basis for what the rest of my career looks like for the rest of my life. And Ronnie told me, Ronnie J told me the same thing, basically. We talked about a lot about the past and like the ULT house and all the cool kinds of cool shit where someone like me who didn't get into the scene until after seeing it happen, like, I don't know, they taught me a lot. And I'm just trying to learn how to apply that shit now. But if I'm being fucking real with you, I feel very lost. Like, super duper fucking lost. There's a cliff trying to play Smash. That might not even have been my door. But, what's it called? A lot of this shit, like, um, I was my train of thought. I think someone opened the bathroom door. Fuck, me and my fucking ADHD. But, Yo, I feel like with the music shit, after, after finishing basically the project, I don't know where to go. I know I want to change everything, though. I want to change the way all of the music sounds. I want to change the direction of the music. I want to change the way that people perceive me as an artist, the way that people interpret my music, hopefully for the better, because the shit that I do, a lot of people like, and they're used to the you know my sound, but... It's not something that I want to be identified for. I don't want to be known as an artist that is always angry or an artist that is always making music for violence or an artist that is always doing this, that, or the third just to be on some crazy shit. I want to be an artist with stability and an artist that cares about the people that are around him and makes decisions based on, I don't know. Can't tell him I had a loss of words very frequently here. Don't trap yourself in a certain sector. Well, I don't. At least not that I know of. My, let me show you what I do. Fuck, I can't even use my fucking hands right now. Let me show you what I do. Every day. My room is a mess right now, my bad. Look at my dirty ass floor. But I wake up and I sit in front of these fucking screens and I make a bunch of music that I hope niggas like. I don't really care about niggas who don't like it. Because at the end of the day, out of the almost thousand people that are in here, I, I only care about the ones that are not just fans of my music, but fans of me and to, the, to almost to an extent, friends of me. Because that, ma that matters a lot to me. Clean my room right now. <laughs> Can I send you a beat? No, you can't send me a beat. Now is an awful time to even ask. I don't listen to my own music anymore. You're really original. You are. Make more center music. Keep yourself in a positive mindset. For some reason, I feel like I see that a lot. What does that even fucking mean? Keep yourself in a positive mindset. A lot of people say that shit. It's not that simple. It's definitely not black and white. A lot of people will be like, keep yourself in a positive mindset and, you know, be positive all the time and positive energy this and positive energy that. What does that mean? Put your emotions into a song, I guess. 
That's all I do. I do that shit all the time. I am positive, though. It's not that I'm not a positive person. It's not that I'm not. It's really, these benzos are making it really hard for me to speak. <laughs> Look, I'm going to put it like this. Fuck everything I just said. I'm going to ask some questions. Y'all ever have one of those days where you wake up out of an awful fucking nightmare and you don't even remember what the fucking nightmare was about? And so it struggles, you struggles you all day and it's, it's hard for you to go to sleep after that point because the shit that happened in the nightmare, you don't know what it was and you don't want it to happen again. Like, bro, you gotta stop saying be positive. I'm positive all the fucking time. I have to be. I have to be a nice guy all the fucking time. I have to be positive all the fucking time. I have to be nice and appropriate to everyone and make sure that everyone, you know, doesn't see me as an asshole or as a clone. I just make the music that I like to make. We all been there? Yeah? Okay. Well, here's another question. How many of you have been told the exact same stupid shit you, you try to talk to somebody about? the nightmares that you have, or you try to talk to somebody about the emotional stress that you're going through that's probably connected to a trauma that you've had prior in your life, and they just tell you, oh, well, all you got to do is be positive because being negative gets you nowhere. I'm sure you've heard that shit like a million times. Niggas is knocking on my door, and I don't know why. Yo. Yo. But is that like spot on? Because they've never experienced it. Yeah, a lot of the people who've never experienced that kind of stuff can't really relate to that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I have sleep paralysis, so no difference. Niggas is knocking on my front door mad hard. Why? <laughs> Why is that? Listen, don't put it on the camera. But um, Sunday heard something. What? He heard uh, something crazy, and he ran into my room, and he was like, yo, the gun. And I was like, okay. You are standing in front of me with a gun right now. No, but someone else had a gun, so. Who? Exactly. So that's why I was like, hey, we might need the gun. I mean, not the gun. We're playing Fortnite. We're playing Warzone. Is <laughs> just in like some shit outside? Yeah, it was just mad loud. I heard it pop, so I was like, "They shoot it." Uh, the niggas coming in here. I'm killing somebody. Like niggas trying to come in the crib. We're shooting. Okay. <laughs> I think these niggas just tried to warn me about a home intruder. Yo, what is going on today? Fuck. Niggas is shooting outside. Nigga, I will, I will. They checking on you. No, they, they just, they literally just said they thought they heard shooting outside. Bro, chill. I'm not doing shit. Listen, I don't know. I feel like I ramble a bunch, and I feel like a lot of the shit that I say, you know, niggas don't get. Don't let them get the novice. Your car, niggas wouldn't try to steal my car. You can't steal my car unless you have my key, and my key is in my room. You can't hotwire a supercar. Yo, if you struggle with like a rational crippling depression that strikes all the time without reason and negatively impacts your daily functions, can I get eyes in the chat?
are you still saving lives? I don't think about that shit as saving lives. I think about that shit as I make music, and my music hopefully has an effect on someone enough to be like, okay, well maybe it's this make this feeling that I get from listening to a song makes me want to continue being the same person that I am and persevere. I don't think of it as saving lives. And people be like, oh, your music saved my life. It, I'm being realistic. Bro, it's so hard for me to stand up straight right now. You have no fucking...